Hi everyone and welcome back. As part of our 3.2 GHz CPU assessment tests, today we're going to look at DFI, Lampard, the UT, Enforce 3 Ultra D with its uh, distinctive uh, LAN party branding. The board was released sometimes in the summer-autumn of 2005, uh, so this makes it uh, two years younger than the other boards we looked at. On the back of the box, there's an overview of the features that the board offers. I remember that I got this board several years back and it wasn't complete. Let's see what's in the box. There's an IDE connector, also two serial ATA cables in one floppy with uh, NVIDIA's Enforce 3 RAID driver. There's also a Molex to serial ATA adapter. And under the board we can find the manual and the CD with the drivers. And now it's time for the board. There are four slots of DDR1, then there's the 939 socket, there's an AGP X8 port, and five PCI. There are two serial ATA connectors under the socket and another two in the area where you'd expect them to be. The board has a 20-pin ATX connector and another 4-pin 12-volt connector. Additionally, the board has two IDE connectors and one floppy connector. The north bridge has active cooling. There are also two internal USB connectors. And one of the most important feature is the presence of a power and reset buttons positioned in the lower right corner of the board. The backplate area offers the regular PS2, parallel, serial, 4 USB, Ethernet and 6 channel audio, but also the less regular coaxial audio output and the firewire. On the back of the board there's a backplate that offers good support for the mounting of the radiators. And we will start the assembly by removing the plate and adding a new one specific for the radiator we are going to use. I'll continue by adding the 3200 plus CPU and the radiator. The RAM is very well placed and you won't hurt your fingers when replacing uh, the modules. As you can see, there's a good space around it, although the serial ATA connectors are a bit under the radiator and the radiator is not that big.
The rest of the build is pretty standard with the same RAM, power supply unit, graphics card. And now the build is complete. Thank you and see you next time with the benchmarks.